YouTube. It's your girl Dive back with another video. And as y'all see today, title, y'all can see that I'm going to be doing a story time. Yeah, I want a teacher that went to jail from touching us, little girls, and literally saying anything on top of his brain. So, we're going to be doing our makeup as well. I'm not doing like a full beat face, I'm doing a Halloween look. We're going to see if I can get into it. I'm trying to see what I'm going to look like for Halloween. So, yeah. Last year, Halloween was not looking too good for you, girl. Your girl sat up there and um, recorded a video. And that's all I did because I did not upload the video until like a day after or two days after Christmas, uh, Halloween. That was embarrassing. I could have kept those to myself. So I want to just actually probably start off with this. Should I? I think. I don't know. I never did my makeup for Halloween for a for real. Well, I did, but that was with paint. I want to do it with my makeup and see what I can get out of it. I definitely want to see what I can get out of it. But, yeah, we're actually going to color my whole face. Probably not this color. I think I need a, I'm going to do a lighter color. I'm going to do a lighter color. I think I'm going to put this all over my face because it's lighter than me. Because this would be white paint in reality. If it was white paint. Look at this as white paint, okay? Okay, girl. So, let's start off with story time and... I was in middle school at this time. This teacher had a thing for the kids, for the kids, for the girls. But he definitely, he was he was all right, decent te teacher. He was a, a decent teacher. He was very cool, but it came to why he was very cool. So one day we was all sitting in the classroom. It was about months after. He was a substitute, but then for some odd reason, our teacher kept leaving. So then he became our real teacher. He became our real teacher. So now at this point, he's our real teacher, and he's very cool. He don't he help you with your homework. He basically did our homework. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Y'all really didn't have to do nothing. Y'all just had to come to class. And if y'all didn't come to class, then y'all don't have to hear about that from his ass. Okay. So. He come to class every day, knowing he was a substitute teacher, but he kept volunteering for our class because he knew our teacher was gone. He knew that personally that our teacher was gone because she he texted her and stuff. So she he knew more before the principal did. She just stopped coming to work and didn't answer the phone call for the principal and none of that because she said she wasn't getting paid enough for dealing with us kids, um, which is understandable. Now because I'm older, it's understandable. But you don't have to leave a hanger like that because you left us hanging when we end up leaving, getting left with a stranger. So... He turned around and he helping us out every day. Then all of a sudden he started telling people, he was like, y'all know how pretty y'all are. Then he started having one-on-one -on -one conversations with us girls. And it was, yeah, I was one of them victims. That's why I'm telling this story. So I had, I carry big boobs. Like, if y'all know, if y'all know me, y'all know me. Since I became out of high school, I'm not going to lie, I gained a lot of weight. Because when you're in a relationship, things happen. Things happen. I lost all that weight in high school just to get it all back when I got out of high school. I ain't no, ain't no shame in my game because I looked sick when I was skinny anyways. But, you know, you know, I had big boobs. I didn't really have nothing in me. I had big boobs in my whole life. My whole life. <laughs> ain't no other shape, form, fashion around it. I had it my whole life. But in kindergarten, I had a little booty at, at, at the time. No, no, I ain't got nothing. No, no. But, yeah, moral of the story is. I had a big chest, and he started doing one-on-one -on -one conversation with people, and everybody was like, he weird, he weird. Some of the kids was like, he weird, he weird. And then some of them be like, nah, he just nice, he just nice, because he want to take me home, I let him. So, like, kids just made jokes. Kids just made jokes, they did. Very much did. And I was like, okay, y'all make a joke to lose snatch one of y'all last up. And me being me, I already experiencing an uh, obsessed teacher. It was kind of weird for me. It was kind of weird to me, kind of like, I ain't, I ain't fuck with you, I ain't fuck with you. So he'd be like, I'll come in the classroom. Like I said once again, when I got to be, when I got to doing my own hair, I became that girl. And that girl, that was just, that was enough being said. I just became that fucking girl. And that's exactly what happened. That girl became a fucking problem. Yeah, that girl became a fucking problem. So, I'm cute. Now I'm cute, I'm flitting in with the crowd, I'm smart, and... Your girl doing her own makeup and shit. She going to school, doing her own makeup, her own hair, putting on her lashes. 
lip gloss on perfect but she still got a big chest i still i'm talking about myself a third person but i still got a big chest so one day i walked in the classroom and i had a little v alert v neck shirt on like i don't know how to explain it like a little where it came down it showed too much cleavage but that's that was just something i wore because i didn't like shirts at the time like you couldn't pay me to wear a shirt well you couldn't pay me to go get a fucking shirt i would only wear a spaghetti spaghetti scrap shirt that that y'all know what i'm talking about and i'm like uh uh y'all couldn't pay me to put on a real fucking regular shirt y'all could pay me to put on a sweater but that shirt was sweater was definitely open so i'm like um yeah he was like dang your big ass titties all out in front of the classroom don't be saying nothing when all them boys hollering at you this that was his first that was his first red flag flag but i laughed at it i keep keep cocky and moved on along so i don't know what look i'm going for so as my hands just go they just go okay so i'm like i see everybody laughing i'm laughing i'm like man you tripping out you, you tripping like for real for real i just had that thing in my hand oh there it go and i just knew right in there i said damn he didn't have to bust me out like that like he had to bust me out like that And next thing you know, the man over here making fun of people talking about, yeah, y'all little hot ass girls, y'all little hot, uh, hot shot ass girls. Doing a lot. Y'all coming in here thinking that nobody gonna be looking. I know all the teachers be looking because I know I be looking. And after that, I'm like, what you mean you be looking? Sir, what you looking for? What, what you looking for? What you looking for? Be like, yeah, I be looking at all y'all. Y'all be all up here being fast. They wonder why I want them boys and them grown teachers don't want to be with y'all. So then after that, he started doing some, like I said, one-on-one -on -one sessions with the kids. And he'll pull them to their desk while we in the middle of a quiz. We'll get pulled to the desk. Remind you, he's a substitute. So what you got to talk to us about one-on-one? -on -one? You shouldn't even be talking for real, for real. And don't ask something that I'm doing because I don't know. It's just something telling me to do this. Um... I'm gonna keep breaking. And I just felt like, yeah, okay, so you doing all this. I, I fucked with it. I fucked with it. You're trying to fill in for a teacher. You, you keeping us a teacher because you know we done dealt with a lot of teachers in the last past three months. Like, we didn't have no teacher for shit. For, for, for shit. That girl cut out. And we y'all don't know how many substitutes we had. We couldn't even. Shit, if you was failing that class, you was passing this time. And if you wasn't passing and you wasn't coming to school just because. Shit, you a dumb motherfucker because I come to school all day, every day just to sit there if I'm passing. So, he was definitely touching on the little girls. One little white girl, um, Susie, I'm just going to call her Susie. Susie was like, yeah, he just touched on me in the bathroom. He came in the bathroom and told me what am I doing in the bathroom when I should be in class. He came in and touched me. Did nobody believe her? Because it was like the little boy that cried wolf until it started happening to the little black girls. Because they realized that he was getting away with it with little white girls. Little Susie's, the little Susie's and shit, okay? And it's not racist. I just don't want to get demonetized. When you mind your business at this point. Um. Yeah, so I'm just like, okay, this man, they lying on this man. But then again, I believe the girl because I know what just happened to me. I know it's capable of happening to anybody. That man sat up there and he finally got to me. I was one of the kids. I was one-on-one, -on -one, one of the kids. Why I kid y'all not? My heart sunk to the bottom of my, my fucking heart when he told me, he said, we don't got to let nobody know. He was like, because you fine. You really pretty to be, um, what age was I? Whatever middle school kid's age was. He was like, you too damn fine to be. Wait, I wanted to go like this. Well, it didn't come out the way I wanted it. That's going to be the mark of Buddha, okay? Or I'm just going around and go like this, make it like bangs. What's the thing called? Vine. So, he did whatever the fuck he told me. I said, okay, man, you tripping out. So, at this point, I'm, I'm a little befuddled about what the man got going on because my mama really don't know about these teachers and I really ain't telling her much because I'm telling her about these kids and she did not think I was telling the truth, but I tell you. So I didn't tell her about this one as, as quick as I told her about the other one because one minute she'd be on my side, like I said, that's minute she'd be on the other person's side. So then I took it upon myself just not tell her nothing. I'm I'm very okay without telling her so nothing. So I didn't tell her nothing, thinking that was a good thing to do. So we and he came to our gym class. 
He touching all, all little girls. He taking the girls down the stairs. Remind you, we all can get dressed by ourselves. He finds himself in a locker room. They found him on camera. To tell, I'm telling y'all, this man did the freaking most. He done told me. He done went down to my shirt. The man that went down to my shirt talking about, he threw a piece of paper in my shirt. He said, I bet you I can make a basket. And he made a basket and said, I'll get it out too. He got the paper out. That right there, that right there was top tier, baby. That right there was top tier. I don't know where I'm going with this look. That's why I can't. I keep stuttering because I don't know where I'm going with this look. But, you know, I hope it come together. I hope it come together as it should. I don't know, but I hope it come together. This is not scary at all. I guess I'm going for Chucky at this point because I'm not following. I'm just not following with myself, like, at all. And, child, this is scary, all right. Scare my damn self. It was giving me what it supposed to give in my head, which I don't know if that was, but, um, yeah. She took it upon herself. He took it upon himself to go down my shirt and grab his paper, which he did. And I was like, whoa, like, it wasn't as, like, shocking, because I'm like, this teacher just be doing shit at this point. But, you know, the little girl, Susie, I felt like she didn't get hurt. She didn't get hurt. I'm like a little little dang, so I might leave that. Wouldn't it be good like this? Nope, I should have left alone. And I just felt like, girl, ain't nobody, ain't nobody finna sit up here and think this girl lying. And y'all got this girl thinking that she doing something. It's fake blood, YouTube. I'm not gonna mind you. I don't know. I don't know what I just did. But she like, ooh, it looks so weird. That's what I supposed to be doing. It wasn't supposed to be this look. It wasn't supposed to be this look. But hey, it is what it is. Mm hmm. for me to know how to do makeup, huh? Go ahead and talk about me, because I know. Y'all like the look or not? Your girl tried. Oh, I don't need that. I need this. Um, he did whatever the fuck he wanted to. He turned around, and it was to the point where he got to tell one of the kids who was like, I want, he got something about his sexual life and was like, he don't mind having a, a three girl situation where he will, he will want to, I don't know, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? And I'm like, boy, who says that? At this point, you asking to go to jail. You asking to go to jail. He like, y'all, y'all mama has some fine ass kids. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Why, why, oh shit, is that any of your concern? I don't know, this stuff feel very weird on my face. Don't ask me to do y'all kids makeup, I promise, it's over with. I'm very horrible at telling the story and doing this shit, but yeah. I just explained to him, like, man, I don't do this stuff. I I don't feel like that. I'm not comfortable with this. He was like, he was like I'm sorry. Um, it's just you're so beautiful. So then he started asking for my phone number. Why are you asking for my phone number, sir? I didn't give it to him. Somebody else gave him my number. Had to, because the man found my number. I don't know where the fuck he found that. He found my number, y'all. He got to text me. And you know what's so crazy? The teacher... The teacher came and asked me, have a teacher text me? And I told her no, being a dumbass. Because I'm like, what the fuck? Even though I just went through the situation before, y'all know, it's like you're really, you're going through it already. Like, you're literally already going through it. 
And it's like you're healing from your last situation where it was fucking crazy and you couldn't believe a teacher to get that. Out of all things, a teacher want to be a molester or a chester. Like, you want to do them things, like, in that sort. So I just took it upon myself just to not say nothing, being nice to see if he would change. He did not change at all. Sorry, <laughs> Ty. Halloween. Day three. Block October. <laughs> so he definitely was touching on little girls. He definitely was on our lap. But then he got to the principal because the last girl he ended up getting pregnant. He ended up actually going to do something and got her pregnant. And she told, she told, but she was in, she was condoning in the situation. After he put his hand down my shirt and then started texting me and asking me where am I, where, uh, where am I at? And woo -the -woo -the -woo, like, cause I told him I'm not at home. Like, where are you at? I come and get you. Like the man was texting me all the time. He was texting me all the time. And it was just crazy because I'm like, you're a whole teacher. And he was about 35, 40. He was pushing his old, old ass age. He was pushing, he was pushing, pushing. You feel me? He was pushing it. And I'm like, um, this man really got a lot of nerves to sit up here and find my number and then text me. And then I tell him I'm not at home and he automatically just like, oh, okay, like you just being weird at this point. You're being weird. Like, why are you doing that? <laughs> you funny. Don't you talk about it all. Just get into story to me. <laughs> So, I just thought, of, um, I started to not say nothing, but then I told my closest friend, my closest friend was like, girl, you should tell, because he used to uh, talk to me too, and woo -thi -woo -thi -woo. he talking to all these underage girls, I'm like, girl, tell me about it, he's talking to all of our young asses, and he just, at this point, he got pulled, because for you to get another girl in the bed, you're pushing that right there, telling me I got big boobs, it's already pushing it, you putting your hand on my shirt, making baskets for the class to look and laugh, not funny. Not funny, funny, ha ha, funny, funny, weird. Because why are you doing that? You're like 40. And I know y'all seen him on jail base. He had dreads. And he was a child molester. And they, and they labeled him as dad. Took him to jail for that. Because he got the little girl pregnant. Little girl told. The little girl was like littler than me. Like she was younger than me at the time. She still is younger than me. I wonder how she doing. But yeah, he got her pregnant. And she was like, oh my gosh, she got me pregnant. So then her mom filed a complaint and everything and then she was screaming over there that she loved him. She in love with him. You can't tell her baby to, to jail because who going to take care of her baby? Her mom was telling her, you're getting rid of that child. And it was just a whole cahoot. So I'm talking to a little girl all the time to trying to just see, girl, do you know this is a man that's a grown-ass man to be exact? And he definitely doing some dumb, dumb stuff. Like, he not doing what he supposed to be doing. Like, you're supposed to be teaching us. You was filling in for a teacher. How are you filling in for a teacher? <laughs> Turns into... I was trying to do a Halloween look, but then my look didn't come into I, know, I just got shot y'all, so broke right now. I'm about to get back in because she got to come out. Yo, This whole story time is fucked up, but you know, this story time was supposed to be a little creepier, but then I couldn't get my makeup together, so it was just like my hand was doing whatever it wanted to do at this point. Yeah, they they with my ass. Whoever it is, they with my ass. They turned me blue, black, and purple. Okay. <laughs> and got me bleeding from the eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We just gonna we going I got another look, but this is not the look I'm going for. Tomorrow I have a better look. But yeah, he definitely got caught. He went to jail. After he went to jail, he got back out so he could not come around any schools and anything. Girl, why I seen him at that damn school talking about he was gonna pick up his last check. You know where he ended up at? In jail. Because you just got banned off the premises. So why are you talking about a check, sir? Why you thought that was okay, sir? So the little girl crying. Talking about nobody, don't nobody understand how it is to have no father. But you should have thought about that before you got in that male, that big that man. Knowing you was underage. You thought your mama and your daddy wasn't going to step? They should have stepped on that man's neck. Okay? So, it was going to be punky, but yeah. I just was like, that was so weird. My mama, my mama ended up finding out. She finally ended up finding out because they sent the alert out to the school, to all the parents, 
parents and phone calls, all of them. So then we had to take a day off of school. Everybody did because of what the man did to certain kids. So whoever had any conf conflict with him needed to, like, what's that word? Yeah, you know I'm talking about. They had to reheal. They had to heal and whatever. So I'm found out, and I told her, I'm like, huh? Grief. Grief. He didn't die. That we didn't die. I don't know. Shit, I can't tell you about it. Bye. Anyways, <laughs> I'm. Mama found out, and she was so upset. Like she was so upset. I showed her the messages where he was texting me, asking me, woo -woo -woo -woo. She said, "Why didn't you come and tell me?" Cause like I said once again, ever since that first situation that I had with the last teacher y'all seen, watch me, watch yesterday. Y'all probably should have watched yesterday. It was just like it rubbed me weird. So it's like I didn't know who to say or what to say. Like I didn't know. So she was upset. She said, "Really, Diamond?" So she very shocked. She got she she calling everybody. She said she ready to call the news people herself because that story got to get out and let him know that her kid was the victim. One of the victims. And I'm like. Yeah, mama, I just didn't really say nothing. So she was a little bit upset at me for me not coming to her. But then again, she couldn't be upset at me because I had just explained to her. Well, I didn't explain fully to her what happened with the last teacher. And he was just, he had, he was a, a BLK dude, dreads, very long dreads, dark skin. He was very dark skin. Like when I say BLK, that kind of gave a hint. But then again, I'm BLK, if that makes sense. But, yeah, that man definitely is in jail. Now, he's he not in jail no more, but I ain't seen him no more, and I won't want to see him either. But that is story time about how our class had a, I don't know, I don't know how to say this without getting demonetized off of YouTube. And they already copyrighted me for a song that was not even copyrightable. So, <laughs> yeah, y'all get in between the lines. Sorry about the makeup because it do not look good. But I hope tomorrow, no, tomorrow will be better because I definitely will go and find the rest of my makeup and we will get into this the right way. I don't think makeup palette is the move. I'm going to go get the other makeup, okay? Yeah. So when I come back tomorrow, I'll have a look. Just just know tomorrow is going to be a better look. Just look at this it's like Halloween the kid painted on my face, okay? Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, yeah.